with Tyler Hansbro, man. How's everything going so far? Everything's going good. I'm just ready to figure out where I'm headed and, you know, see what team I can help next year. How has been, you know, just the whole experience just up to this point? It's been good for me. It's been a couple of long flights and a lot of traveling, but, you know, I handled it well. And, you know, the workouts, you know, I've got more comfortable as it went on. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens. For those who don't know, like, the workouts and the traveling, how's your schedule? Like, is it just one city every day or, you know? It seems like it. For me, I only did about nine or eight workouts. I went, you know, usually I went to a city, then I had an off day, which was like flying to another city, then I worked out the next day. So that's basically how it worked for a month or so. Now, what are you looking forward to the most? The actual, just the ceremony of the draft or just the day after where you can relax? You know, what's... I'm looking forward to the day after. I'll go to the city and kind of relax and, you know, find out where I'm going and trying to get acclimated to everything and then, you know, go back to Chapel Hill and maybe train and relax for a couple of days. Now, with your skill set, what is an NBA GM getting that, you know, they're not going to get with any, anyone else? Like, what do you think your upside is? Yeah, well, I think I'm a very good offensive rebounder. I attack the, the rim real hard and uh, my mid-range jump shot has, has really improved and, and come a long ways. How are you going to celebrate once it's all said and done? Once it's all said and done, I'm probably going to go back, uh, back home and, and probably uh, hang, out with, hang out with a bunch of my friends and maybe have a party or something like that.